Hey, wanted to shoot a quick video on how to put your SLP tokens in cold storage. So SLP stands for Simple Ledger Protocol. It's the token protocol that runs on Bitcoin Cash. And what I'm going to show you right now is how to create a paper wallet, or in this case a plastic wallet, uh, so that you can store your uh, SLP tokens on a paper wallet <clears throat> and then retrieve them later and uh, and this is uh, this extends a previous video that I did on how to create these plastic wallets uh, to to make your Bitcoin and, and now your SLP tokens truly unconfiscatable uh, so I'll dive right into kind of like how to do this and then uh, the last half will be the code I use to actually generate the paper wallet because it's a little bit different than a paper wallet let me show you how so this is a, a Schedule 40 PVC plastic card in the shape of a business card. And uh, the previous video I showed how I made these with a laser etcher, but you don't need to, to have a laser etcher. You can just have a, a normal printer. Or you don't even need a printer. You can actually just use a PDF. Uh, an image file on your computer is fine. Um, and so the software I'll show you that you can download will help you generate these. But the main difference is right here where it says simple ledger so a normal bitcoin cash address would say would say bitcoin cash and so uh the the standard uh is that you you typically don't want to send slp tokens to a bitcoin cash address and you don't want to send uh bitcoin cash to an slp address and so a lot of wallets are, are starting to enforce this. And I'm going to show Badger Wallet <clears throat> um, because that's the only wallet right now that has this feature of uh, sweeping the SLP tokens from, from a paper wallet. And um, well, let, let me just give you the demo. So this is, I uh, wanted to show my phone. This is the Google Play Store. I've got an Android phone. Oop. And... Uh, I did a search for Badger, and this is the Badger wallet with that with that little Badger icon. So I'm going to click on that. I've already got it installed, but that's how you can find it and install it on your phone. It's also available for iOS, so it's in the Apple I, I, uh, iPhone store. Um, here is what it looks like once you get it loaded. I've got some Bitcoin Cash at the top. And then I've got several um, tokens. And uh, so what I'm going to do is this uh, a paper wallet has a public address and a private, a private key or private address. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a token and uh, send it and I'm going to uh, so that's so that's what the sending so I just I picked some random token that was in my wallet and I'm gonna scan the QR code which is the the public address There we go. All right, I'm going to send 20, uh, 20 tokens to this address. Now, these tokens, most of the tokens right now, they don't have any financial value. But um, the uh, there is one, the USDH, which is a really great token for uh, which is a, a stable coin uh, and this would be one way of, of storing your stable coin and this might not be very useful for people in the USA but this would be really useful for people in um, in Venezuela uh, you know if you get your phone stolen you don't want to keep your funds on your phone this is something you could you could literally bury this in your backyard uh, or you know keep it in a safe or, or whatever okay so I 
sent I sent the tokens and uh, and you can do you can do the sending part with with mo with several wallets bitcoin.com wallet app uh, badger wallet has an extension or this badger wallet app those are all ways of sending tokens what I want to show you is the which is unique to badger wallet right now is the 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 ability to scan uh, the the private key I'm trying to get there we go um, okay <laughs> trying to get the the contrast to show up there. Come on. There we go. What you want to do is click on the menu on the on the left and then there's a paper a paper wallet sweep feature. It's so it's kind of hidden. That's what you, that's what you want. And then you want to open your camera and then you can scan the private key QR code. There we go. And so <laughs> I think it's the adjustable brightness on my phone. So it found the 20 tokens and now I can confirm the sweep and sweep those tokens back into the wallet on the phone. So there. <clears throat> so I sent tokens to to this public address from the phone and then I sweeped the private key or swept the private key uh, and put the tokens back on the phone so that's that's how you do it as long as uh, after I send it I could go bury this or I could give it to someone and uh, you, you might not want to put the private key on the back I mean this is fine for your personal use like I might I might do that and then and then bury this or put this in my safe because of the ease of both being on the same thing but uh, another good use case for these is to like if you have a business card again doesn't need to be plastic you could put the public address on a blank business card and then have that around in your wallet and that's safe and people can scan it and verify that there are funds on there and you can like give this or you could give the private key to people or you could leave the private key at home and have like an address to accept money and again like you can use USDH, so these are equivalent equivalent to dollars, and that's that's very very valuable in a place like Venezuela. So okay, in the next part, I will show you how to actually generate these paper wallets. Okay, so <clears throat> the software to generate these paper wallets can be found on GitHub, GitHub.com/slash Chris Troutner slash plastic dash wallet and uh, again I, I walked through how to install this software in the previous video which I'll link to in the show notes below but uh, it's called the video is called laser engraved plastic BCH wallet and that's on my YouTube channel and uh, and uh, anyways there's a link there what you want to do is is watch that video to understand how to run this software and so this is a continuation of of that video and so here I am in that directory and uh, if I do get stash I'm on or status I'm on this master branch and you can also see that here on this drop down there's multiple branches there's an SLP branch and so for the SLP tokens what you want to do is check out the SLP branch There we go. So this is a slightly different version of the code that will uh, generate the, S the simple ledger addresses rather than the Bitcoin Cash addresses. So if I go uh, generate wallet, and I know how to run that command from the previous video, and uh, these commands are, are down here in the readme. So I'm going to just hit enter because I want to use English. And uh, I'm going to generate five wallets, and then I can run npm run create, 
and there it goes and it created the five wallets and this is the private key and this is the public key and if I go here's the the a, a visual version of uh, File Explorer of where we're at there. Uh, go to the output folder and go to HTML and there you can find this is the artwork that you need to print out or you can convert this to a PDF. So public zero is the public address, private zero is the private key for that address and so I generated five here so I can go public one and private one and so, um, you know, so like, like I said, if, if I didn't have access to a printer, I could just uh, scan this right off my computer with the phone, and I could go to um, print and save as a PDF. I want to do landscape. And uh, anyways, that's, uh, or I can just hit print screen. You know, so lots of options from here once you've generated the address. But again, the main difference here is that this is generating a simple ledger address, and that's what lets the wallet send the tokens to it. The private key is the same, but so far Badger Wallet is the only wallet app that uh, can scan these QR codes and sweep the tokens off of them successfully. Uh, hopefully other wallets will implement this feature. Another... Um, Another wallet that is capable of sweeping this, which is good to know about because Badger Wallet is, a, is an app in an app store, and those app stores can take apps down for whatever reason they want, so that's, that's kind of a, uh, a tricky thing. Um, also in my repositories is the SLP Cly Wallet. SLP-Cly-Wallet. And this is another wallet that is capable of uh, sweeping the tokens off of a from from a private key. It's not graphical based. It's uh, it's command line based. But what you want is this sweep function right here. Uh, this if you put in the right data, you can you can also retrieve the the funds off of a cold wallet, uh, including the SLP tokens. So. If the app ever gets taken down from the store, this is the sort of the fallback, and this is open source and uh, and MIT licensed and widely available. So this is this is a secondary way that people can can get their funds off of a off of a paper wallet if they have them say in cold storage. Okay, so I hope this uh, was valuable, and I hope this gets people thinking about ways that they can uh, convert their wealth into a stable coin and maybe diversify between stable coins and Bitcoin Cash uh, so that they can find the right level of risk for them and, uh, and control their own finances, uh, which is permissionless and unconfiscatable and not under the purview of the state, and, uh, and so that you can take more control of your life and your finances. Uh, so, yeah, go forth and, and hack away.